Let's cut straight to the facts. Your turbocharged car is sentenced to an early death, and you don't even know it. It's not a question of if your turbocharger will fail, but when. Why? Because 83% of turbocharged vehicle owners are using the wrong oil, and it's literally cooking the heart of your system from the inside out. The temperature at your turbo shaft can reach a blistering 700 degrees, 370 degrees, during normal operation. With inadequate oil, that number skyrockets to over 790 degrees, 420 degrees. At these temperatures, conventional oil transforms into pure carbon, clogging lubrication lines and destroying your turbocharger within weeks. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to reveal the shocking truth about turbocharger lubrication that no dealership wants you to know and show you the before and after evidence of turbos saved by a simple oil change. Stay until the end because I'll share a simple method to check if your turbo is already compromised, even if it's not showing noticeable symptoms yet. The turbocharger is arguably the most demanding component in any modern engine. While your car's engine operates at maximum rotations of 6,000-7,000 RPM, the turbo spins at mind-bending speeds of 150,000 to 250,000 RPM. To put that in perspective, that's faster than many jet aircraft engines. Now imagine this precision component spinning at these extreme speeds, with tolerances of a few thousandths of an inch, while being bombarded by exhaust gases at temperatures that can exceed 1,150 degrees, 900 degrees Sachs. The only element preventing this system from instantly self-destructing is a thin film of oil. Not just any oil, but a lubricant capable of maintaining its properties under extreme temperature and pressure conditions. The problem is that most people simply don't understand how critical proper lubrication is to turbo survival. Making matters worse, dealerships and manufacturers often suggest oils that may be adequate for the engine, but completely insufficient to protect the turbocharger. Why? Because failed turbochargers mean expensive, profitable repairs. A new turbo can cost between $1,500 and $3,500 depending on the vehicle model, not counting labor for replacement. If you're finding value in these technical data-backed insights, hit that like button and share this video. Remember that 95% of viewers aren't yet subscribed to the channel. Don't be one of them. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell to receive our content that literally saves you thousands on car maintenance. Failure factor, circ 1. The killer shaft temperature. Most turbocharged car owners have no idea of the temperature their turbo shaft reaches during normal operation. To visualize it, imagine a metal cylinder with half inside a 1,650 de Gaffort 900 de Gasson furnace, while the other half needs to stay relatively cool. The hot side of the turbo, turbine side is constantly bombarded by exhaust gases reaching extreme temperatures. The cold side, compressor side, needs to maintain lower temperatures to compress air efficiently. Connecting these two halves is the central shaft, which must withstand this brutal thermal gradient while spinning at stratospheric speeds. The oil lubricating this shaft doesn't just reduce friction, it's also responsible for dissipating up to 30% of the system's total heat. If this oil can't withstand extreme temperatures, it literally cooks and transforms into a carbonized deposit, exactly like cooking oil turns into a black paste when overheated. Technical data from the industry shows that a turbocharger's life expectancy drops by approximately 40% for every 18 degree 10 deg CTs, increase in average shaft operating temperature above the designed limit. In other words, if your turbo is operating just 54 deg per 30 deg above ideal due to inadequate oil, its useful life is reduced by nearly 80%. A component that should last 150,000 miles might fail after just 30,000. Failure factor. Number 2. Carbon in the return line. The Silent Turbo Killer The second devastating problem related to using the wrong oil is carbon formation in the oil return system. When inadequate oil is superheated in the extreme environment of the turbocharger, it undergoes a chemical process called coking. It literally turns into coke, 
a carbonized residue similar to coal. This carbon first accumulates in the tiny oil passages inside the turbo, especially in the return system. The return line is particularly vulnerable because the oil has already lost pressure after passing through the turbo and flows more slowly, allowing greater deposit buildup. Over time, these carbon deposits progressively reduce oil flow, creating a vicious cycle. Less oil returns to the crankcase. The turbo receives less fresh oil in the next circulation. Temperatures increase further due to insufficient lubrication. More carbon forms, accelerating the process. The final stage of this cascade of failures is when the return system becomes so obstructed that oil can't escape from the turbo. When this happens, oil begins to leak past the seals on the compressor and turbine side, contaminating the intake and exhaust system. The result is a turbocharger that smokes from both ends, a clear sign of imminent failure. If you've made it this far, you truly care about your vehicle. Comment, save my turbo below so I know who the real enthusiasts are who value quality technical information. The truth about oils and turbos. What manufacturers don't tell you. Manufacturers typically recommend oils based on the engine's overall needs, not the specific demands of the turbocharger. Often, the recommended specifications are the minimum acceptable, not the ideal for longevity. For a turbocharger, the most critical properties of an oil are thermal and oxidative stability, the ability to resist degradation under extreme heat, high-strength film to maintain lubrication under high pressure and speed, low volatility to avoid evaporation at elevated temperatures, advanced detergent properties to keep the system clean and prevent carbon deposits, Conventional oils, even those meeting manufacturers' minimum specifications, frequently fail in at least two of these criteria. This is particularly true for mineral oils and some lower-quality semi-synthetic oils. Studies show that common mineral oils begin to degrade significantly at temperatures above 300 degrees, 150 degrees C, considering that the turbo shaft can easily reach 570, 700 degrees, 300, 370 decks. It's clear why these oils are completely inadequate. Even among synthetic oils, there are crucial differences in their ability to protect turbochargers. POW, polyalpha olefin, synthetic base oils generally offer better protection than HCMO, hydrocracker modified oil bases, although both are labeled as fully synthetic in the market. The inconvenient truth is that many modern turbocharged cars especially compact models with 1.0L turbo engines, are designed to use low-viscosity oils like 0W20 or 5W30 to improve fuel economy and reduce emissions. However, these lower viscosities often don't provide adequate protection for the turbocharger under intensive use conditions or in warmer climates. Before and after, visual evidence of proper oil's impact. One of the most compelling ways to understand the impact of correct oil is to observe the state of turbochargers that failed due to inadequate lubrication compared with those that received appropriate lubrication throughout their service life. In turbochargers compromised by wrong oil usage, we observe central shaft with bluish or blackened coloration, indicating severe overheating carbon deposits in oil inlets and outlets, often reducing passages to less than 50% of their original diameter bearings with irregular wear and signs of cavitation, dried and brittle sealing rings, turbine and compressor vanes with erosion and abnormal wear. In contrast, turbochargers protected with adequate oil even after 100,000-plus miles frequently show central shaft with normal coloration, no signs of overheating, clean and unobstructed oil passages, bearings with minimal uniform wear, flexible and intact sealing rings, turbine and compressor vanes in good condition without significant erosion. The difference isn't subtle. It's dramatic and immediately visible even to lay people. It's like comparing an engine operated without oil to one that received proper maintenance. The fail-proof method. How to choose the right oil for your turbo. So what is the ideal oil for a turbocharged engine? The answer depends on several factors, including specific vehicle model, type of use, urban, highway, mixed, climate conditions in your region, age and mileage of the vehicle. 
However, there are general guidelines you can follow to ensure your turbocharger receives adequate protection. Always use high-quality, fully synthetic oil, preferably with a PAO base. Verify that the oil meets or exceeds manufacturer specifications. Look for oils with additional certifications specific to high temperature, such as ACEA C3 or higher API SN Plus or SPGM Dexos 2. Specific manufacturer approvals, MB 229.5, VW 504, Dadu 00507-00, etc. For predominantly urban use or in hot climate regions, consider an oil with slightly higher viscosity than the minimum recommended by the manufacturer, while still within acceptable specifications. For example, if the manufacturer recommends 5W30, a high-quality 5IW40 might offer better protection for the turbocharger without significantly compromising fuel economy. It's important to note that this guidance doesn't apply to vehicles under warranty. In these cases, strictly follow the manufacturer's recommendations to avoid voiding coverage. For vehicles out of warranty, however, the correct oil choice can literally double or triple the turbocharger's life expectancy. The 5-Minute Test – How to Know if Your Turbo is Already Compromised You don't need to be a professional mechanic to assess whether your car's turbocharger is already suffering from inadequate lubrication. Here's a simple test anyone can perform. With the engine cold, park the car on a level surface. Remove the hose going from the air filter to the turbo inlet. Compressor side. With a flashlight, examine the interior of the compressor inlet. Look for signs of oil, shiny or wet surface, buildup of oily residue, excessive shaft movement, abnormal play. Reassemble everything and start the engine. With the engine idling, check for bluish smoke coming from the exhaust. Quickly accelerate and release the throttle. Look for a puff of blue smoke after release. If you observe any of these signs, your turbocharger is already compromised due to inadequate lubrication. The good news is that if the damage isn't yet severe, switching to proper oil can stop further degradation and potentially save the component. How to recover a partially compromised turbo. If your turbocharger already shows signs of compromise but still functions, there's a protocol that can potentially save the component or at least significantly extend its useful life. Perform an oil change using a quality system cleaner to remove deposits and residues. Replace the oil with a high-performance, fully synthetic oil, specific for turbocharged engines. Replace the oil filter with a premium model with greater filtering capacity. Drive gently for 500 miles. Avoiding harsh acceleration and high RPM perform another complete oil and filter change. This removes contaminants that were loosened by the new oil continue using exclusively the correct oil, reducing the change interval by 30% compared to recommended. This protocol has proven effective for removing initial carbon deposits and stabilizing turbochargers that were beginning to show signs of failure. However, it's not a miracle solution for severely compromised turbos. In these cases, replacement is still necessary. The difference is dramatic. Turbochargers that would likely fail within a few thousand miles often continue functioning for another 50,000 to 80,000 miles after this treatment, as long as the correct oil continues to be used. Deadly Practices Behaviors that are killing your turbo Beyond using the wrong oil, there are other behaviors that drastically reduce your turbocharger's lifespan, shutting off the engine immediately after intensive use. The turbo continues spinning for several seconds after the engine is shut off, but without the oil pressure needed for proper lubrication. Always let the engine idle for 30-60 seconds after intensive use. Aggressive acceleration with a cold engine. Before the oil reaches the ideal temperature, its viscosity is higher, and turbo lubrication is compromised. Always allow the engine to warm up for at least a minute before demanding performance. Ignoring oil change intervals. Degraded oil loses its protective properties, even if it's initially the correct type. For turbocharged engines, consider change intervals 20-30% shorter than recommended by the manufacturer. Using low-quality oil filters. Inferior filters may not capture small particles, which are especially damaging to turbo bearings. Always use premium quality filters. 
power modifications without adapting lubrication, increasing turbo pressure without adapting the lubrication system is a guaranteed path to catastrophic failure. The price of ignorance. The real cost of ignoring proper lubrication. Let's do the math to understand the real cost of skimping on oil for a turbocharged engine. Premium synthetic oil suitable for turbos. Approximately $50, $80 more per change than conventional or semi-synthetic oil. Considering changes every 7,500 miles for 75,000 miles, 10 changes. Total additional cost, $500, $800 over 75,000 miles. Now the cost of a failed turbocharger. Turbocharger replacement, $1,500, $3,500, depending on the model. Labor, $800, $1,500 vehicle downtime, two to five days potential collateral damage to the engine, potentially thousands of additional dollars, the math is clear. Saving $500, $800 on oil can easily result in a loss of $2,305,000 or more, not counting stress and inconvenience. More importantly, Turbocharger failure is rarely covered by warranty when caused by inadequate lubrication, as it's classified as maintenance negligence, even if you followed the minimum recommendations in the manual. Myths and Truths Clarifying Common Confusions About Turbos and Oils There are several persistent myths about turbos and lubrication that need debunking. Myth number one, any synthetic oil is suitable for turbos. Truth not all synthetics are equal. The oil base, additive package, and thermal stabilization technology vary enormously between products. A basic synthetic may be only marginally better than a good semi-synthetic. Myth number two, thicker oils, higher viscosity, always protect the turbo better. Truth, while slightly higher viscosity can help in hot climates or severe use, excessive viscosity can cause problems. Oils that are too thick may not circulate properly at low temperatures and can increase fuel consumption and wear in other engine parts. Myth number three. Aftermarket additives can transform regular oil into suitable turbo oil. Truth. Isolated additives rarely offer the complete protection needed for turbochargers. Some may even create chemical incompatibilities with the additive package already present in the oil. Myth number four. If there's no blue smoke from the exhaust, the turbo is healthy. Truth. Damage to the turbocharger can progress significantly before visible symptoms like smoke appear. When smoke is noticeable, the damage is usually already at an advanced stage. The ultimate solution. The maintenance protocol for long-life turbos. Based on all this information, here's a complete maintenance protocol to ensure maximum longevity for your turbocharger. Exclusively use high-quality, fully synthetic oils with appropriate specifications for turbos, reduce oil change intervals by 20-30% compared to manufacturer recommendations. Always allow the engine to warm up for 1-2 to two minutes before demanding performance. After intensive use, like highway driving or long uphill, climbs. Keep the engine idling for 30-60 seconds before shutting off. Use only premium oil filters with greater filtering capacity. Consider installing an oil temperature gauge for real-time monitoring. Avoid modifications that increase turbo pressure without adapting the lubrication system. For older vehicles or those with high mileage, additionally consider oil system cleaning every 40,000 miles, visual inspection of the turbocharger every 30,000 miles, intercooler cleaning every 50,000 miles too, Ensure maximum efficiency. Following this protocol, it's not uncommon for turbochargers to last the entire useful life of the vehicle, easily exceeding 200,000 or even 300,000 miles without significant problems. The choice is yours. Save a few hundred dollars on oil now and pay thousands in repairs later or invest in adequate protection and enjoy a reliable turbocharged car for many years. If you learned something new today, Leave a like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel for more technical content that saves your money and extends your vehicle's life. In my next video, I'll reveal the secrets manufacturers hide about variable geometry turbos and how a simple maintenance adjustment can increase your car's power by up to 15% without any modifications. You won't want to miss it.